Hi guys, Nyaji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So OpenAI has released a new version of GPT that is called GPT 4O and O stands for Omini. In this video, we are going to discuss about GPT for Omini and we will be implementing that using Python. So GPT for Omini or for O is a multi-model which means which can, it can accept video, audio and text. Okay, so there are a lot of use cases that is already released by OpenAI. Okay, so this is one of the um, one of the uh, use case in which uh, this person is actually discussing with OpenAI and they both using audio and video. And there are um, uh, five or six videos are there. In one of the video, the OpenAI, I mean GPT for Omini is acting as a teacher and which is like teaching a boy okay and explain the different mathematical problems with that boy so there are a lot of uh, use cases that is explained in this video so you guys if you have not seen yet please do refer this which will really help us to understand much more about for all okay. so one cool feature that everybody likes about gpt for omini is like it is actually 50 percent cheaper than gpt for turbo and also which is faster than GPT-4. Okay, so in one of our project, we have actually started with 3.5. I mean, 3. Point, GPT 3.5 Turbo. Then after the GPT-4 is released, we actually upgraded to 4. Okay, but unfortunately, we have to switch back to 3.5 because it is uh, the result. Wa GPT-4 is actually returning very slow result. Okay, so it is actually taking two to three seconds to get the data or response from GPT-4, but 3.5 5 was returning less than a second so i believe after doing some experiment with gpt4 omini i believe like we could able to upgrade to this version okay so i have my collab notebook open here so here i have done few basic installations so i have my open a keys ready and i have also installed open a okay now we can import the opening okay so here is the coding is similar okay so import a and here i can import my os okay now i can mention my model so my model name is gpt for o or stands for omi so here we can have our client so i can have an open a client i can mention my key is open a api key can mention okay so this is my open a key open a api key can mention here okay now we have our client now we can check the completion okay so here we can have a create a chat completion okay i can create so here i can specify my model so here my model is model then we can set the messages Okay, so messages should be array. Inside that there is a dict. So here, uh, one of the role will be system role. Okay, system role, and here I am mentioning a prompt. So that is the content. So if we are we are setting a system prompt. Here we are saying that you are a helpful assistant. Assistant okay help me with my homework okay. so this is the system prompt okay now we can give our query so here simply i can mention the role as a user role now i can mention the content here i can say that could you solve to plus two okay this is my question so i am executing it 
so the completion is done so we can check the answer so let me print the completion okay so here we can see the choices so i need to select the choices here okay then message dot content this can be printed here okay we can print it here and let's see the output okay chart completion object has no attribute called ch that is true should be choices okay so here we can see the result 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 okay so this is actually working fine now we can see how how the for omini gpt omini is working with the images okay so for that what we can do we can import few libraries here to get the image okay this is only for the display purpose and we have the audio and the markdown and we need to have a base 64 this base 64 used to convert the image okay. now i have my image path so that is triangle dot png is my image okay now here i can display my image okay here we have our image we can give the image path okay you guys can see the image path i mean image so this is my image okay six five so this is a, a triangle image okay now we can have a small helper function which will actually convert our image here i can give a image path okay so this will encode to base 64 encoding okay here i need to open the image here we have the image path okay, okay write it as a read binary and here image file then i can return the base 64 okay base 64 dot b 64 okay so we are encoding the image file ATF 8 okay so we have our encoder conversion method base 64 conversion method now here we can have our base 64 version of the image okay for that we can call this method encode image method and we can pass the image path okay now we can pass this image to a completion chat completion okay for that let me write a chat completion we have our client client dot chat dot completions here i can create as we did earlier we can pass our model let me correct the space we can pass our model okay then we can pass our messages messages should be a array inside that we will have a okay. uh, sorry let me correct this okay now we need to have a dictionary here i can mention my role first is my role is a system and i can have the content so this is my system prompt okay so here i can say that you are a helpful assistant that respond So this is the content now we can give the user input okay 
so in user input we have we will be giving two type okay first let me define the role as a user okay now i can give the content so here content is a list content is a list inside that it is a dictionary here we can pass a type so first one is a type and this is a text okay now we can say that what is the text we need to say so the question is what is the area of the triangle so this is my question okay to support this i need to pass the image so here i can mention my type as a image url okay then i can pass the image url as a base64 okay here i will be passing my url url i can mention data colon image slash png colon base 64 so here my camera is the base 64 image so this is the one that we already converted okay base 64 image cool so we have done with the message part now i can set the temperature as zero Now let me execute so it is actually giving some errors invalid content type image url solely supported as a type okay so some issues happen so here we have a type is equal to image url url okay so i can execute this so the execution is in progress okay the execution is done took 5 seconds mm -hmm. now we can print the response as usual we can print it like response dot choices dot message dot content okay so here we can see that its detail explanation about the uh, area of a triangle okay and it's here it says the formula and uh, what is the uh, square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and it, uh, where s is equal to the semi perimeter of the triangle and it is here it is mentioned about the uh, what we called uh, what is the semi perimeter okay then later it is um, replacing the formula with the actual values okay then this is the final area so this gives 10 square root of 2 so this is the final output okay so this is um, a very simple so let me explain it again so we have our png image and we encode it to base 64 okay so once we have the uh, base 64 image we have what we have done we have set the system prompt okay system prompt we mentioned that okay you are a helpful assistant and you need to help me on the, my homework then we have the user as a role so here since we are using the both multi-model scenario both image and the text we are using here so one of the content type is text and we are passing the type here and another is we are passing the image url so here we are passing a base 64 image url here so also like we can give a direct full url also okay which will also will work okay so so once that is done just execute it so we got our result and it seems to be correct right so you guys can try with different options like this uh, please do try out and uh, uh, maybe that will improve your quality with open ai okay so that is all about in this video so yeah please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye